Hi, even though you might think so, this is not the OnePlus 12. This is the OnePlus 12R. And what in the world is that then? Well, it's basically a somewhat stripped down version of the normal OnePlus 12. Stripped down both in price, about 500 US dollars instead of the 800 dollars you have to give up for the normal 12, as well as stripped down in performance and some functionality. The R series has actually existed for a while, however, the 12R is the first R series phone that gets a global release. Looking from the outside, both the 12 and 12R, together with last year's OnePlus 11, has got a very similar aesthetic. The biggest noticeable change from the 11 series is actually that the little notification slider has moved from the right side to the left. Compared to the normal 12, the 12R otherwise sports the exact same design with however being somewhat lighter and thinner, which is nice. The big camera bump on the back is also a little less sticking out on the 12R, again nice. Colors are black and blue, out of which the blue one I've tested here is somewhat of a medium fingerprint magnet. Not terrible, but you can definitely see where you have had your fingers on the phone. Just as with the normal 12, the display on the 12R is a fantastic AMOLED one with both 120Hz variable refresh rate and LTPO. The screen gets plenty bright for outdoor use and apart from the rounded edges, I love it. The screen resolution has been somewhat lowered from the normal 12 as well as that the screen has lost its always on mode mode. Other than that though, the screen really is great. The actual bigger changes are instead found on the inside of the phone, where the ridiculously fast Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 on the normal 12 has been downgraded to a Gen 2 in this phone. That in all honesty still packs enough power to switch between apps faster than your fingers can swipe, as well as to play Genshin Impact and other demanding games with basically no hiccups, also without getting the phone too hot in the process. The RAM goes up to a maximum of 16GB, which is plenty for every Thing. However, for whatever stupid reason, the storage is stuck at a maximum of 256 gigabyte, with no more spacious version of phone to get, as well as no option for a micro SD card either. A little sad. Promised updates has also been lowered somewhat compared to the normal 12, and for the 12R, OnePlus guarantees three years of Android updates as well as four years of security updates. Okay, but just. The other biggest downgrade from the normal 12 is with the cameras. Here, Sony's classic IMX890 sensor with a resolution of 50 megapixel jumps in as the main camera and delivers a perfectly decent photo and filming experience, albeit though without wowing in any extreme ways. The 8 megapixel ultra wide lens also produces fair photos, but not really with the same detail and sharpness as the main camera. And the 2 megapixel macro lens works fine as a magnifying glass, but lacks the detail and color to produce any really good pictures. Battery life though is fantastic and the phone easily stays alive well beyond two days with normal use. Included in the box is also a 100 watt fast charger that fills the whole battery in about 30 minutes. Sweet. Not so sweet however is that the phone, just like the older 11, completely lacks wireless charging. So well, now to sum it up of some sort, the OnePlus 12R does basically exactly what it's supposed to do. That is being a somewhat cheaper version of the normal OnePlus 12. And apart from a somewhat older system chip, a little little less competent camera setup, a lower maximum storage and the lack of wireless charging, both phones are indeed extremely similar. And if you feel okay losing out on those details while saving about $300 in the process, I'd say this is the phone to get if you specifically want a OnePlus phone. And that is my take on the new OnePlus 12R. Please share any thoughts or questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, bye!